Welcome everybody to Making Magic Happen, presented by RW Hobbies and Games. Just wanted to take a quick second to shout out Mana Traders, who's sponsoring the channel. Uh, this month there's a there's a modern tournament series where you can play some some Swiss games, and then uh, there's a big tournament at the end of the month for uh, fifteen thousand dollars. It's a lot of money, especially in today's uh, online Magic community. So if you want to sign up for Mana Traders and get in this event, you can use code A two two E N at checkout, get fifteen percent off, and uh, start playing some Mana Traders. And I want to mention, on December 26th and 27th, I'm going to be competing in a Holiday Cube Challenge for Charity. Um, it's going to be LSV, Caleb Durward, Jonathan Brostoff, and Gabe Nassif versus me, Emma Handy, Kenji Egashira, and it's new on the Nomi, and uh, Jim Davis. And we're going to be battling to see if we can get the most trophies in a two-day span. And uh, I'll be on Twitch. You can catch me at A22ENMTG. And I'm going to be trying to get a lot of trophies. Uh, we're going to be raffling off a bunch of cards. we got some really, really sweet cards coming up. So make sure you check that out for sure. It's going to be a really cool time. Uh, and with that, I'll let you get to the content. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Making Magic Happen, brought to you by RIW Hobbies and Games in Livonia, Michigan. I'm Connor, and today we're back with a little bit more Lotus Field combo action, getting ready for Sunday's Mox Showcase Qualifier. As some of you may know, I got second in the last one, and so we're trying to do one place better this time around. Lotus Field is kind of on the top of my list right now. Might also play Oops All Spells, but today we're testing out Lotus to see how it feels. We've made a few changes from last time, so we'll jump right into that. I've been really impressed with Baral, Chief of Compliance, and it feels important to be going fast right now. And Baral is kind of the way to do that. So we've gone up to three copies of Baral, down to three copies of Vizier. I know that Vizier is also a go-fast card, but right now we're experimenting with the 3-3 split to see how it feels. We also cut the fourth Yavimaya Coast to just try to fit a basic forest in there. We don't usually need the blue on, you know, turns two and three, so we're seeing how the basic forest feels, and if it becomes a problem, we can go back to the Avamaya coast, but there's been some Assassin's Trophies and some Field of Ruins going around, so that's our way of combating that. We are back to Nibmizit Perrin in the main deck. I was doing some testing with my Lotus Field mentor, Paul Muller, yesterday, and we played against a lot of... Saltai Wilderness Reclamation, and normally I feel pretty good against the Counterspell decks, but for some reason that one was just really difficult. They just had, honestly, Thoughtseize plus, like, too many Counterspells for us to get through. So we're trying Nib one copy of Nim is it again in the main deck in addition to the one copy in the sideboard, and we're going to see how that goes. We've got a Void Snare in place of the second Blink of an Eye, and the reason we're doing that is we're seeing a little bit of an uptick in Damping Sphere, and especially decks with Damping Sphere in game number one. Decks like Four Color Omnath featuring Fey of Wishes and, of course, Mono Green Devotion can get a Damping Sphere in game number one. And so our plan to fight that is to... Where's our Fey of Wishes? There we go. Our plan to combat that is to granted for copies of either Wilt or, you know, Void Snare being cheaper is good to have. There's less Narsets, and Blink of an Eye is our best tool against Narset, so that's why we've made that switch. Now, I do have a special surprise for you all today. Here to help me with some of our testing is Lotus Combo Mentor, Paul Muller. Say hello to the people, Paul. Hello, everyone. And Paul is um, really excited to have him on with us today. He's honestly... Got a lot of chances to call me a potato yesterday for making misplays. Hopefully I don't make quite so many today, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's jump into the matches. All right, hey everybody, here we are for round number one of this league. We are on the play, and we're actually playing at someone else who is qualified for the event this weekend in Swift War Kite 2. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this hand. This one looks a little bit better, so we're going to go ahead and keep... And I think that we want to get rid of Fey of Wishes. What do you think, Paul? Um, do we have any information on what our opponent is on, since you know that they're qualified? Oh, actually we do. Give me one second. I believe that they did their winning with Burn, in which case right. we should bottom the Peer into the Abyss. I think Peer and Fey are very similar. 
They could also be on oops, in which case Faye is very, very important. All right, then I'm, if that's the case, then I think we're supposed to keep the Faye, because Faye yeah. and Pyrrha are essentially the same card, and if there's an out to them, like... Well, against... Yeah, against Burn, they're not the same card, because we can just play Faye as a 1-4. Yeah, so it, Faye is strictly better. Yeah. I'd like to draw... Basic Forest. That would... That would be good. neither of them. Um, we can keep this, I think. I... Eh. Hmm. That's fine, then we fill our graveyard enough. And yeah. with Basic Forest, I'm, like, not sold on what they could be on it. Like, I don't see them keeping a mono green hand without, like, a one drop. Not seven, no. No. Oh, yeah, I guess this, this makes sense. Wait, 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 wait. Is, oh, I was gonna say, is that better than Burl? I think it is, because next turn we can... Nope. Nope. That's why we clicked one closest first. We do. Because next turn we can go cycle, Baral, copy. I think that that's better. Although, no, it, it was better to... Ooh. It was better to play Baral, because I'm assuming that this just isn't going to die, and we could have... We could have gone um, Baral. We, we already had Baral in place. We could have just gone Sylvan Scrying for this and copy it. So yeah, this this was the incorrect play. Well, they have a Hydra. Then. That's... Well, they oh, wouldn't have been able to. They only had four baby, mana, baby so Hydra. Hydra, yeah. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Um, God, I think that now. I, th I think um, we should just. They have, they have a Nick though, that they're setting up. That's that's why they're doing this the way they are. Oh um, sure. Wait, ooh, we have out. We we can beat Nick though. We have uh. Uh, we, 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 oh, cool. This is actually sweet. We can, uh, talk to Vizier, me. play stage, and then, uh, float red. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So, play, so if we play stage, float blue, spend one blue, uh, tap the stage to cycle Vizier to untap, um, Lotus Field, then cast Fey of Wishes. Uh, we can cast, uh, the Alpine Moon and name... Uh, uh, Nick, that was preemptively. Um, I don't think that that does anything. That's a cool line, but the card we're worried about here is Karn, and they can Karn us even if they do that. Right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and then Nick, those would be six. So. I guess I'm just thinking about if God, yeah, I really should have played Baral last turn. That was kind of a throw. I'm trying to decide if we should granted for an answer to Damping Sphere. I think that we should. I think that we should just go ahead and get a Wilt. Well, hmm. I guess I don't even have the mana for that at this point. I think I should start by just like cycling both viziers and seeing if we can find a kill this turn. Does that make sense? I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. We're here for it. Yeah. Like, worst case scenario, we just set up to go next turn and hope that they don't have Karn. That's a good draw. Hopefully, we find hidden strings. That would also be a good draw. <laughs> I'm the best. Wait, 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 no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You're yep. Right. Never mind. yep, sorry. You're fine. I'm great at this. They're dead. It's they're, like, yep. They're stone dead, we can Eugene them. We can Eugene them, can't we? Nah. No, we can 100% Eugene them here. I mean, we can, we won't. Is this good opponent? If so... You don't want strings? Oh. Yeah, that. no, that, I, I know, I know. But they're, no, they're dead. just dead. I agree. 
That costs mana to play? Yep. Omniscience just says from your hand. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. So granted, we get approach. We approach. Now we just go get dig. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Man, magic's really easy. Right? <laughs> it is when you shot call the literal two perfects off the top of your deck. Oh, man, we're... That's, that's some run hots. That was. Um, you got my luck going now. Huh. So I think that we're going to want these two and an anger of the gods. Now, the only thing that we're really worried about is Karn in this matchup. If they can't Karn us, they have a hard time winning, and they're going to be mulliganing aggressively to mana dorks and turn three Karn. And so I'm not, I'm actually not sure if I should have anger in. I probably shouldn't. Not a big fan of anger. Yeah. To be honest. We cut Nib Mizzet. I think that we also cut a Balaged and an Arboreal Grazer. What do you think? I don't mind those cuts. Oh, you could also just cut two Arboreal Grazer. Because I don't think we're supposed like we're. I think I think I'll do that when we're on the. I think we're trying to race a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I think that we can do that on the play on the draw. I'm gonna cut one and one, and then when we're on the play, we'll bring back in the Balagad for a second grazer. Like we do have to like create some kind of parity, I guess. Yeah. Hand does nothing. I got so excited when I see Grazer. Um, this is also bad, but I think we have to keep it. I think that we keep it as well. We don't need three of those. Dude, we just we just scry another land to the top. We draw a Vizier, and it's just a turn. Oh, we just drew the other land. Yep. So we just scry Vizier to the top, and it becomes a turn four I think kill. We're supposed to keep. No, never mind. No, we're not. We, we should consider, um, actually I think we were supposed to keep that. Why? To be honest. Why? Because we want, we want to maintain a green source to be able to kill Damping Sphere after it, it was played. Sure, I suppose. Uh, we're just playing Baral here. Yeah, I agree. I think it's almost, I think it's worth sacking the stage almost. I don't even think that we need to sack the stage to do, well, hmm. We can play Balagad Recovery and Karn then... Us. Well, here we go. So yeah, now we need to... Yep. So now we need to try to find a Wilt or a Blink to answer that. Correct. Which means we are no longer playing Lotus Field. Do you not have Wet Ball opponent? If your opponent doesn't have... Okay, they do. <laughs> I was going to say, they're tanking for a minute on that. Alright. Wait, 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 oh. What? I'm trying to think. I think it was better to, pl like, float the mana, play the, uh, field, Balagan Recovery, the, um... Stage? The temple. Oh, temple, the temple? No, it leaves both Blink and, um... Leaves both Blink and Wilt as a draw. But I could be wrong. Unsure. Sure. Maybe. No, 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 he was tapped out, never mind. Yes, yeah. Maybe our opponent... Oh, no, this is Nissa, which means they can just play Wet Ball after combat. Oh, Hydra. Jeez. That's a thick boy. This is making my... Well, no. Yeah, no, I think that playing that Baral on turn two was wrong, and now it's going to punish us. Mm, no, it's not, actually. Never mind. All right, so we need to try to win the game this turn. I don't think it's possible, but we need to try.
think I need to planning try to hit wilt. God, another brawl's not very good, is it? Hey, Paul. What do you think we're doing here? I think that Paul had to go take care of something, so I'm just gonna be me for a minute. Oh, sorry, I'm, but, I'm back. Oh, dude, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Um. So here, I think I need to granted for a void snare. What do you think? Are we just gonna get the wilt preemptively because they've already no we need to get void snare it's the only one we have uh, um have we played a land this turn we have interesting yeah what's our graveyard look like We've got two strings, three pours, a few viziers, some lands. Could get Blast Zone with the Sylvan Scrying. I don't think the Blast Zone does it though, because they have God Pharaoh's statue too. No, they have both. Yeah. God. Yeah, so we just we just need to go and wish for Void Snare. Yep, that's fine. We are. We're in danger. Our colors were super awkward this turn. They were. Did we play the stage? Is that what happened? Yeah. Maybe that was incorrect. I don't know. It just feels like with this version of the deck, because you have to generate so much mana, you have a they really hard time. Things. What's that? Then we could have done interesting things with Sloth if we didn't play stage. I agree. Huh. Well, if we top deck like strings, we have a shot. Call your shots more often, man. Oh, uh, well, no, this doesn't do it because they have a scavenging use activation up. Crap. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Like, obviously, I'm going to play it out here. We're not... What can I What can I do here? Think. So, we bounce this. They have God Pharaoh statue. Yeah. Strings up to six mana. And then yeah, I'm, lose. I'm, they've only got one activation of scavenging use up currently, which is my thought process with hidden strings. But, unfortunately, we're, like, a little short. I think that honestly mm. we're supposed to try and beat both God Pharaoh statue and so your next turn. How on earth? Um. Text box. Oh, blast! Blast zone is how. Yeah. Yep, I'm here for it. I think that's probably our best bet. Although, uh, that. We, we're never getting three mana to activate that and still have stuff to do. No, Blast Zone doesn't work. Why don't we get the three mana to do that? Well, because Blast Zone is taking care of Damping Sphere, not God Pharaoh's statue, right? And we're only going to have four total lands in play. So then after that, then we don't have enough mana to Hidden Well, what if we... Well, so next turn, Hidden Strings costs two. Yes. Well, uh, so it, no, it, so it costs, it's, it's, it taxes us for two, not one. No, no, sorry, void, void snare costs two, so that's fine. 
And then we, we just void, we, we void snare damping sphere, then our lotus fields are turned back on. And then what do we do? Well, I mean, everything costs plus one, and plus one is beatable. I guess. So do you think that we just, like, play Balagad recovery, copy Lotus here? It's probably the line. Yes. Alright. Oh. Oh, Yavamaikos was our land for turn, right? We can play, uh, yeah, we messed that up. Well, no, no, we, we, no, we had to do that. Never mind. Yeah, we did. Um, we're supposed to cast scrying, then. Well, then we can't copy Lotus. We need to copy Lotus if we have any. If we want to have any sure. shot. Okay, that's fair. Can't say that I've ever. That was. Well, no, it makes sense. I can't say that I've ever played through a God Pharaoh statue before, but I guess Baral makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Nine's not dead. It's not dead next turn either. No, it's we not. Whole, we, we have a whole other turn sequence. Yeah. Oh, never mind. No, we don't. No, not really. Because it, it, the statue deals with the damage. Oh, wait, no. Because we have to tap all of this mana. No, 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 you don't. It only costs one more. Oh, right. So we void snare that, we make three. We probably have to strings the scavenging is. Good. Why are we strings? No, no, no. For Cypher. Um, yeah, that's fine. Although, I guess Cypher costs no. one mana. Is Cypher casting or copying? I believe it's... We're going to have to look up the rules text on Cypher. I believe that there's a... Uh, it's controller, controller make. Text. Nope. Um, it's cast a copy of the... Yeah, so it would cost... Without paying its mana cost, so it would cost uh, one more. Yeah. So it would cost one. Yeah. We also just... I don't know. I don't think that we can do anything this turn. I think we're just dead. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't, don't do it yet. Sorry. Paul, we're dead. Never dead. We're so dead. Because no, next we, turn, they're just going to replay yeah, the damping play, sphere. They can the, the sphere. Yeah, sure. We can be dead. Although... I'm going to see what we can do with Blast Zone, if there's anything that we can do there. Oh, no, because we're just dead to damage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah not with... Slaw. Are we dead with Slaw? Oh, because they can just make this a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, we're dead. Pretty unfortunate. Strange game. Hmm. No, I think that with... Their plan being turn three card. I think that this is legitimately just a race. Okay. Keep. I do enjoy these hands. These hands are quite good. I think in theater you're supposed to put the botanical sanctum into play. Sure, I guess. How's that gonna end up mattering? I don't think it does. Was that a good one? If you want my honest opinion. I think this was a good one. I've seen worse. I think it's better to hold sanctum so that we're not taking damage if we need blue or green in the face of a damping spear down the line. Hydra for one. Dude, hope so too. That would be that would be hot. I mean, if they do that, fine, they're dead. All right. Well, we got a pretty good shot to just go next turn. They can cast Karn, but they 
can't they cannot dampen sphere. We can set up, even if our dig doesn't find anything good, we can just set up a blast zone on two. Or mods crept? Rude. That's actually pretty heads up. We're gonna see if. Copy. Yeah. Copy. Don't make them think that it did anything. Yeah. This is actually really good for us, I think, because it means they can only get one of the two KOs. So we're just gonna cycle this. Cascade. No, 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 no. We dig now. Why do we dig now? Because we've got the strings ready to untap, and this is probably the last chance we cast strings. He's definitely gonna go ahead and crack his blast sound. Uh, sorry, it's Tormod's crypt. Sure. It just beats it. So, let's see. We have... That phase might... strings. If we take phase strings, we have four... We have 12 mana. We have a land drop return as well. Yeah, so then we just Ugin, Bolt, Karn, and win the game, I think. Yeah, I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> now we made their Tormod's crypt look like a pile. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it is. It was a good idea. Poor like, execution. It was, it was a good idea, but they needed to just do it as soon as they played it. Otherwise, it does nothing. I agree completely. Unless you're holding it to, like, stop our Balagad recoveries, but I don't think that that's a good game plan. Eugene. Bolt your car. I will boat you. Attack them. Let them know what's up. Opponent, you're dead. I can afford to attack you with my Mox Diamond. <laughs> Literally only because we can't block Questing Beast anyway. Yep. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> <sighs> Oh god. Paul, it's we fun. punted. We punted. I agree. We messed up. True. I think we're fine. I think we're, we're fine. Our Ugin bolt their land. Yeah. They still have a Nykthos in hand, dude. I think we might need to minus Ugin. I don't think we should minus. We lose our blocker then for the ne for the next Nissa land. We do. Ugh. And they don't and they don't lose their attacking creature, which is the thing that matters. Ooh, that's a good blocker. It is a good blocker. As is Fey. Yep. And then back. we just get to recur Fey at the end of turn. Yep. Play out two blockers. Yep. We're the control deck now. Look at me. Have you ever played Ugin, Ugin Control? Because this is Ugin Control. Damn, dude. The fact that we just, like... <laughs> Took three points of damage to our Ugin for no reason. Cause yeah, because we, we just, like, couldn't think of... With it. We, we could have... No, we couldn't have ultimated this turn, but we would be threatening ultimate next turn. Damn. Yeah, I just forgot that Nissa gave Lance haste. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah. Um, they can like commit a lot into the Ugin, but they can't actually get through to the Ugin this turn. So yeah. It doesn't actually matter. Well, Vivian gives trample. We have a lot of tough. We have ten points of toughness. Many much toughness. Actual ten. I think we need to hope that this Nykthos doesn't have something like really good, because they get to make one. To make six mana with their Nykthos. So they get to go from four mana to six mana. It's like not a big up. Um, hmm. probably just blocking with sloth, right? Um, we need our. I I, I want our Ugin with as much health with as much uh, loyalty as possible. I think so. I think. I think that has no purpose other than to like. I think Baral, like, could be good next turn. 
think we need to like do something with Baral next turn. So if we block this, it goes down to five loyalty. I guess if we block with Baral, then we can just safely minus. It's a it's a it's a five five or it has five counters on it. It is a f what? No, no, no. Yeah, it, it's a five five, right? Yes. So it, it would take two down to six, right? Yes. Not five. Yes. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. I think that we just want to block with Sloth. So I think that we're minusing our Uga next turn, which means our Baral doesn't actually get to stick around. Sure, that makes sense. And we can replay our Fey as a blocker. Oh, opponent just like didn't kill Baral. Wow. <laughs> That's lucky. That's kind of wild. Hopefully we draw something that makes mana here. I agree. Mm. That's actually good. That's Yeah, that's fine. What do you think it's we're supposed actually, think to... Good. What do you think we're supposed to fay for? Probably just peer into the abyss, right? Oh, we're going to put our opponent down to... Th Four mana total, with no at, with no hope to do anything with it. Yeah. So yeah, Pierre's probably the best card. So minus five Ugin. Yep. So wait, we wait, 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 yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna minus five, Actually, then we're gonna go grab Pierre, and then we're gonna play our two creatures out. Yep. We are Ugin Control. <laughs> Love some Ugin Control. My favorite kind. It's surprisingly good. Yeah. Man, Ugin is I think, like... I think, I think opponent punted by making their land with a Wolf Little Haven on it in 2A3. I think that they punted by putting the Stormwise script into play. But a few, yeah, there, there's been a few. Like, if they had just gotten Damping Sphere, then, I don't know, we would have Ugin, but we would still be in trouble. So we've used three of our hidden strings so far, is that right? Oh no, we've only used two. Wow. Yeah, because we, 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 we cast a hidden strength post stake through time. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we only. The opportunity to play around the Tormod script. Right. Well, to be fair, we could have hidden strings first. I and, like, that, then that just, like. Them an, it gives them an extra click to, like, decide to activate Tormod script, which was, like, really bad for us. Well, dig through. We response, yeah, dig through time's an instant. We would have been fine. Opponent. Stop having all these cards. I mean, this is fine. I think we should just peer here. Yeah, 10 life is nothing. No. Draw half of our deck. Yeah, and then we just plus on one of the burning trees. That can stay right there. Yes, sir. Well, one of those. It's entirely possible that we were supposed to... Nah, that doesn't make sense. We're fine. We don't need Baral. We don't need all of these pores. I think pores is probably one of the better cards to keep. Yeah, it is, but we don't need all you of don't them. Actually, have dig through time. I think you could just card dig, 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 because he's gonna crept you. Ah, uh, right. So yep. Bad. Yeah, that makes sense. So otherwise, you're just gonna like have crept in play and never activate it, which is. Yeah. Like, it feels bad from yeah. the opponent's perspective, so it's less likely to happen. And we just still have this Ugin. Like we're gonna kill our opponent, so it doesn't really matter much, but. This has been in play ever since turn four. Yeah, Ugin control. 
Ugin control. Good thing we kept right. this. Good thing we kept this blink of an eye. Right. It's so smart and thin. Very smart, very thin. Good game, opponent. Both teams have tried hard. Card activation, which is why we discarded the dig. Yep. Thank you for that. We have twenty card ups on our deck, so we don't have to worry about decking. Yep. Now we're just making all of the mana that we can. Should have played Baral first, but you know, whatever. Alright, just cast the Fae now. Give opponent the scoop equity. Yep. We're able to beat Mono Green. This is a deck that I'm expecting to see a lot in the Showcase Qualifier this weekend, especially. It's good to know that one of our potential opponents is going to be on that. So, good start to the league, and we'll see you for the next match. All right, here we are for round number two of this Pioneer Lotus League. And we're looking at a pretty strong hand on the play here, so we're going to go ahead and keep. This hand needs a slot. Listen, you can't always have everything. Subscribe to the top one of this temple industry. I would, dude, if I can. You, you bet your ass I will. Opponent has also kept seven, so here we go. Unlucky. Them keeping seven probably just means that they're playing a bad deck. Nah, dude. Decks that decks that it makes it more likely that they're playing a bad deck. Decks that mulligan a bunch are the best. Strings. Okay, so this is a matchup where we need to be worried about... I think that their best card against us is going to be Narset. So we're going to have to find a way to deal with that. Huh. It's just planning here, right? Yeah. Yeah, planning is fantastic. Yeah. Wow. We have put a lot of cards into our graveyard. Our dig through times are going to be very, very cheap. There's the Narset. So I don't know, with the way that our hand's set up, I don't think we're that worried about Narset. Just don't think that we care that much. Narset is annoying. Blast Zone is great though. For sure, for sure. If we even need it, like we might just be able to kill them through the it. I'm yeah. interested in what our opponent is doing. It's this, um... It's just like a blue-black control deck. I think that... So, I guess we do have to fade for a turn here. Because it's possible that they have Days Undoing. <laughs> and if they have Days Undoing, we are Dobbs. We cannot beat that card. We need to draw one. That's true. Can you say combo? <laughs> I love what's going on right now. That's a combo. Oh my god. Well, the good news is we're just going to kill our opponent next turn, but oh my god. That was cool. That was very cool. I'm glad that this is being recorded. Yeah, me too. This, this is wonderful. I don't know if it's good, but it's definitely sweet. 
I am interested in what, is, what it is that our opponent has to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see how much mana we can make. I think that we lead on dig through time. That's how they got messed with the speed. We're fine. We're just gonna grab strings, strings. pier. Yeah, it's strings pier. And we just win from here. Wait, it, it pier draws the cards, right? Oh. Damn it. You're right. Whoops. Oh, let's uh -oh, see. Oh, spaghetti -o. We have five plus eight. So we have 13 mana. What can we do with 13 mana? Oh, 13 mana gets Ugin. It does get Ugin, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm down to just Ugin this away. We're going to play Blast Zone first to play around main deck Mystical Dispute. And Ugin also solves the, the thing in the ice problem. It does. Quite nicely. It does, doesn't it? It also solves the mystical dispute problem, which is nice. They could be heads up and cast it here. They could. Aww, They're not. Unfortunate. Us. Unfortunate for them. <laughs> I was going to say, are we about to get spell pierced? I was scared for a second, man. If we got spell pierced, I would let it happen. I mean, you got it, man. Yeah, you, you wanted it more. Their deck was cute. This is this is uh, nice. I mean, they're not out of it yet, or we're not out of it yet. I don't know. I think eh, no, we're we're, playing, uh, we're good. We're Ugin, we're Ugin control against blue black control, and we have our Ugin in play. Yeah. Oh, they have the combo. <laughs> no. All right. Well. If it minuses, the Ugin goes up. If it doesn't, the Ugin goes down. <laughs> we cannot let them untap with a Narset now that they can... Treasure, Treasure Cruise? Cruise? I love what is happening. What is oh, happening? <laughs> what is going on? Our opponent is having more fun than us. I, mean, I don't even know if that's true. You're correct, I guess. Bolt your Narset to start this turn. Yes. And now, do you think we're planning, or should we just fire off this pier? We should probably just fire I off this we, pier. Um, what's the worst case scenario if we fire off this pier? Narset into the thing. Narset into Days Undoing. That shuffles our graveyard back in regardless? Yes. We still have this Ugin in play, so it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Here into the abyss. Opponent? Us. This is the abyss. <laughs> Take I a look. I throw more cards than you. Have you seen the art on this card, dude? It's freaky. Oh, yeah. I love it. That one, right where we. Were. Oh, I, I messed up. I could have played an arbor. I could have played sloth that turn. Could have. Sloth. Yeah, that's my bad. You could have, you could have discarded one less card. I could have. It's so broken. I punted. Cling to dust. That card Dude. can't be good in pioneer. Unfortunately, opponent, we do not have. Uh, Underworld Breach anymore, so that card no longer has text against us. Yeah, sorry about that one. If we could have it, we would. Hey, hey, Paul? How's uh, how's this hand? If miss it feels pretty good against our opponent who's trying to draw lots of cards. I agree. Thoughts. I'm trying to cast lots of one mana and two mana spells? <laughs> I still love the dip the thing in the ice. Absolutely love it. Wow. I love that opponent just like has to commit to our onboard recursive sweeper. <laughs> when you say it like that, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> for them or for us? 
are we the ones with the with the Ugin in play? We are. Feels okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Opponent has I'm realized. Ugin is good enough. They have. All right, so I like a Niv and I like a thought a thought distortion, and I like a blink and I like a wilt. Is it? What say you? Yeah, I'm okay with all of those. And then this is not a slothy matchup. True. Although we do lose value because they can reset our sloth with uh, thing on the ice. That's true. That is very true. Oh, man. Well, that's not a horror, unfortunately. Dude, turn two thing in the ice, turn three heartless act opt, seven you. Makes you feel like we're playing modern all over again. Wow. I miss Faithless Looting. Don't you? In modern? Or in general? Yes. I mean, in modern. Um, I think this hand's I, a keeper on the draw. I think so, too. It is unfortunate that it is pretty weak to the card Thought Seize from our blue-black opponent. It's true. Ha. Well, luckily, they, they did not cast the card Thought Seize out of their blue-black deck. On they the they did not. Grave. Right there. Yes, that please. Okay. Yes, please. Maybe they thought erasure us. Thing in the ice. <laughs> That's sad. Goodbye, Goodbye Niv is it? It's been real. Eh, I mean, I'm glad they're not like. They have to choose between Niv and Sylvan Scrying here, which is really good for us because both of them are cracked. We have the card on top, so I think they take Niv. Probably. But they could get greedy and take Sylvan. I hope that we never find Thespian Sage. <sighs> I think that's an aggressive ask that we never find. Probably, especially given how much pressure they're putting on us. Alright, what are we going to find? No, thank you. Man, I think it's funny that, like, Lotus is just our best card by so much, and we mulligan to it, like, super aggressively, and it's just horrible in multiples. <laughs> oh. Listen, Paul, we just gotta, we just gotta pray, okay? I think I like playing Baral here over playing Silver Scrying. Um, I think that makes some amount of sense. I want to be able to attack their Narset. I think that I agree. They have another Narset, though. And also, if they don't daze undoing us here, I think that um, we gain a lot of value from being able to have our hidden strings. Be able to do stuff. Stuff and things. Yeah, we have a day through time. Yeah. There's stuff and things to do. This isn't good. I don't like them minusing here. Well, they have another Narset as a backup anyway. Well, That's they true. Guessed. They they whiffed. They bricked. Please don't daze undoing us, opponent. Got there. Now we get to attack their Narset, which is... Hopefully. They, they could still have push. Postboard? <laughs> That's the third one, though, opponent. If they've been That's studying... That's so unlikely. I think we just get stage copy here. Um, I agree completely, but do you have forgotten the important one, which is attack you? Yes, of course. They just picked up another Narset, dude. How bust? How busted is that? It's honestly pretty unfortunate. <laughs> if you want my, if you want my <laughs> truth on this, I always, this is good, is always want the truth. Can't, like, Narset minus into days I'm doing, so that feels good. For sure, for sure. That's a good one to know about. It's good when we know about it, that is for sure. Aha, they left this one at five. Thoughts on casting Giga Drows for two? Giga Drows? Yeah, Giga Drows. Explain? 
um, tapping both of our opponent's lands. Ooh. Or we could also... And then Cypher? Yeah. Cypher and then Cycle Wilt. Well, we can't okay, Cycle Wilt. Oh, true. Just do this in our set. I'm a potato. Actually, wait. Are we still supposed to put a card into the graveyard? Uh, I don't think so. I would rather just Cycle Wilt on their turn. Oh, I'm trying to kill them this turn. I don't know how likely that is. I don't think that's very likely at all with Narset in play. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Talk oh, to me. Sick. Talk to me. Oh, this is so sick. Uh, cast, cast the hidden strings. We're gonna, we're gonna niv miss at them, and they're gonna be upset. Oh, yep. That, yeah, for sure. Hang on. Do we even hidden strings target their lands? Why would we even do that? Um. That allow that makes sure that our Baral gets in because otherwise we come up mana short. Sure. Opponent? Oh, they're having a big think. Tap for green and pay. Pay two green, one blue. Uh, yep, this makes sense. Resolves. Actually, wait. I mean, oh. it, it has to. Oh, God. We... Oh, God. No, no, we're still, we're still fine, but it's like way less good. Yeah. I guess we should have played our land first. Yeah. It's kind of a punt, but like then we still can't make the play that we want to play. Yeah. Um. We can. We can. Ooh, wait. What's up? Oh no, we're we're good this turn. What are you Lots thinking? Balagad recovery target hidden strings. Um, I'm a fan. And then we have botanical sanctum to cast it, to cipher it onto. Yes. And yes, then we can just dig through time. Then, then, then we have dig through time plus our man, plus our mana gets untapped. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm in for this. Now we probably just you like. You can cipher. Oh my god. Nope. I misclicked. God right, damn well, it! I'm so sorry. It's just so fine. ridiculous. Um. Now we're supposed to attack the Narset and pass. Yeah, God, that's just so absurd. Do you think that we should dig through time here? And then just like hold up Wilt? I think we're still supposed to dig here. I think so too. Spending. Outs to draw. Uh... Now, do you think that we... Oh, right, I forgot that it cost one less, so we get to leave both of those in. Um, I think we take dig planning. Yeah, I agree. We could dig again here if we wanted to. I don't think that we, we do. Cast, we definitely cast the planning. Is that better than just cycling? No, it's not. Hmm. Temple, uh, or we can, take an, uh, we can take Vizier, I I think it's yeah. supposed to be Vizier, and then we can dig again. Oh, right. The strings is fine to exile. Yeah. Hmm. Thought distortion and hidden strings. I think so. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that... Neither of those are gas is the problem. Neither of those like actually. We we, we can take thought distortion, uh, dig through time, or thought distortion. I think we we definitely taking the distortion here. Yeah, I think it, I think distortion dig is fine. Because we can take guarantee that the only gets the minus once, and then we can take yeah. the distortion. Yeah. I'm down to distortion dig. Hmm. 
man. Dude, I that turn would have been so broken if I had just like clicked yes on yeah. Cypher. That wasn't great. Come on, miss on the wheel. They did not miss. Well, okay, that's kind of a miss. That's definitely a miss. Yep. Um, I like casting the card Thought Distortion and seeing what's up. Do you think we should attack Narset first, or no? I think we should cast Thought Distortion first. Okay. It costing one less is kind of broken. That's so good this turn. Now we can copy. Now they have. Now they're gonna cling, but they only get to cling once, which is kind of sick. Mm -hmm. That's not pretty good. Okay. Got yep. It. You get to exile the cards from our graveyard. I would guess that he poured out a bunch of his removal spells, if not all of them. Hopefully. Man, this guy really wants <laughs> some creatures, I guess. Yeah. Because everything else is going away. Yep. Resolve? Please? Deal. No, they have. They're on zero? Cool. They get to cycle fetid pools. That's fine. Um, yeah. Play the stage, copy, and then attack Narset. Yeah. So that Narset can't minus. Right, right. I feel good about our spot. Yes, we have battled back. Thought distortion is so good. Why is Ether Gust in their deck though? I guess they need it for Niv Mizzet. <laughs> they do need it for Niv Mizzet. They, can't, they just can't win otherwise. Why did they not, not cycle Fetid Pools end of turn? That must have just been a misclick or something. Probably a misclick. Yeah. Oh, come on, opponent. Yes. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yes, opponent. Now that it's like it's even more punishing. Yeah. It's fine. Rude. Did they play a land? Yeah, they played Fetid. They did not or they, play they no, they, they played twice. Fabled. They played grave, I Fabled Passage, my bad. Oh yeah, they played Fable, sorry. Well... Ugin Control? I've gotta say, I'm a fan of Ugin Control. Same. But we don't have enough mana for Ugin Control, unfortunately. Oh yeah, damn, we're a mana short. short. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put pause on real I... quick. I'm gonna run to the restroom and... Okay, I actually... Fantastic. Let's go get a Eugene. I think that we should play the Zier of Tumbling Sands as well. What do you think? I dislike that. Because then we lose access to our Fae. How so? Oh, just if we want to bounce it end of turn? Sure. Correct. Do you think that we will want to bounce it end of turn? I'm not sure. Who but knows? It's probably better than the card you have Tumbling Sands and Lotus Field, or the card Wilt and Lotus Field. Probably. Ah, looks like opponent's just going to pack it in. Match. Yeah, looks like we have just a little bit too much. So, that was, a, that was a really interesting game. We had some tough decisions, but a pretty fun one. So, we'll see you back here for round number three. All right, hey everyone, welcome to round number three of this Pioneer League. We're off to a pretty good start so far on the play for this match. I think that we're going to be going to six with this hand. Uh, I disagree. I think uh, this is a keep. I, I don't know, dude. I don't think that one strategic planning is good enough. And a, and a scry. It's going to six is so free. Uh, I would consider keeping this, but if you, if you want to go to six, you, you can Tell you what. Free. Tell you what. We are testing, so let's test it out and see how it goes. I think this hand is good enough. Okay. We'll give it a try. I think that without the scry are we, are land... Are we on the play or the draw? We are on the... Right? We're on the play. Oh. Still would have kept. Sure. No. 
Nope. You are not a land. If this land were not Temple of Mystery, it would mulligan, right? Oh, I would never keep it if it wasn't Temple, but we get to see, like, an extra two cards. Okay. You are. We need to find another land, though. Yeah. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, see, the sand is... This... Alright. Our opponent's on spirit, so we're going to jam our Fae of Wishes here. Uh, hear me out. What if we were to cast Dig Through Time this turn to try to find a Thespian Stage? Ah, no, that's that's not necessary. I, I think I like your play of just... That feels worse than Fae of Wishes. Fae of Wishes, and then we can just cast Vizier to be our second Lotus next turn. Yeah. Our Fae is so good here. Yeah. Oh, they're tapping mana on their main phase? Yes, please. No blocks. <laughs> what? Nani? Wait, what? Why would they? Why would they attack? There's no reason to attack. With a three-two. Yeah, into our one-four. Yeah, sure. The attack was free, so I assume they would make it. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to take one on the crackback. They have a blocker. They're cowards, then. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well we can block the three-four. I agree. And now we can. Hopefully. We, have, we get to have fun with hidden strings now. We do. That was a very good draw. Our yes, it was. I agree. So. can play Baral. We have five cards in our graveyard? Yep. Cool, so dig through time, it costs two mana. Yep. So we fire that off. Hopefully we find some lands. There are some lands. I found one. I think we... Hmm. We have two pores already. Yeah, I think we take blast zone. Hear me out. Blast zone pour. I'm hearing you out. What are your thoughts on uh, the card Sylvan Scrying? So, I was... I could be persuaded into Sylvan Scrying. So we have, so we have Hidden Strings, um... I was honestly hoping that we could be Cypher Gamers right now. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Hidden Strings, untap Lotus Field, uh, tap, tap down Supreme, Supreme Phantom. Phantom, Cypher onto Fey of Wishes, cast Sylvan's Crying for one mana, get a stage, copy. Oh, yeah, we can get a stage and copy, yep. Yeah. You're 100% right, so we're just going to take poor Scrying? Yeah. Okay, yep, I didn't, yeah, this is, this makes sense. Cypher, please. I don't... <laughs> hey. Hey, now. <laughs> one time. One time that happened. And now it's... Need... Did us? No, okay. Not in the main deck. At least hopefully not in the main deck. All right, now let's hope that they don't have that one drop with Flash. Doesn't look like it. Wonderful. Those ones. Yes, please. All right, cool. We should be killing them now. I agree. I think that we shouldn't have taken the second or I th maybe I think the mastermind was better. Could have been. But I don't think it matters. No. 
now, it, now it definitely doesn't matter. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we can wait, Omni. Wait, 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 why are you putting all the blue? We can Omni here. Is Omniscience better than drawing our deck? Yes. Uh, yeah, we, do we, we, we have enough mana for Omniscience plus Bouncing Fae? We do. Okay, cool. Yep. I wanted to make sure that map worked out. Of course. I understand. Yeah, I checked. Uh, cast is crying first. No, 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 no. Oh. Why are we casting scrying first? Because it's free and it thins our deck. Sure. I mean, before, yeah, okay, I guess this is fine. It's free and it thins our deck. Yeah. Now we peer. Yeah. And then we win. We can just... We have 14 cards, oh, they're at 19, oh, we can't kill them with Niv, that's sad. That is sad. Uh, we have enough money man to bounce the Fey. Yep. We do. Uh, we just have a Fey in play already. What are you doing? Oh, it's it's fine. Nothing matters, you see. Grumble, grumble. Efficiency. Grumble, grumble. I like having permanence. Oh, misclick. Whoops. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Just running up the score here. Alright, we got we got game one against Spirits. Um I like Niv Mizzet against Spirits. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good line. I liked that. I like Niv Mizzet and I like Blink of an Eye. Niv, Niv is not a beatable magic card from out of Spirits. I agree. Do you think it's worth bringing in one of our two sweepers against them, or no? I know because I think the only sweeper that really matters is Shatter a lot of the time, because they usually get too they too big like, for anger. anger. That makes sense. So we only want, so since we only have one real like truly live wrath, I think we have to keep it in the sideboard for our wishes. Okay, and then for boarding out, I'm looking at a Balagad recovery and a dig through time. How would you feel about that? A what? Sorry? A Balaged and a Dig. I'm okay with that. Sloth is very good in this matchup. I agree. Sloth. Gotta be blocking. Always be blocking. <laughs> Sloth blocks a lot. <laughs> it's so thick. Ah, it is. Okay, you know, I'm... The more I think about it, the more I think that that last hand was, was okay. What was that? Sorry, you cut out. I said the more I think about it, the more I think that the last hand we kept wasn't so bad after all. Yeah. I'm usually, like, very averse to keeping hands like that, and I just mulligan into the dirt, but I think it's also fine to keep them. Hm. That card's very good. It is, but it's not what we need right now. I think it's exactly what we need right now. Man, we need to get our mana online. Strategic planning, it's not gonna get countered, it's gonna be great. You really think they wouldn't counter it? I really think that they won't counter it. I think that might be ambitious. Got them. <laughs> hmm, we did get them. Do a barrel roll. I told you they wouldn't counter it. <laughs> Silly opponent. They never counter that one. They, they save it for the Sylvan Scrying. Yeah. Because I think we're trying to get them. Oh, what? <laughs> oh yeah, that one's pretty good. Do you know that one? Flying Cosmo Lazo, but also it doesn't, it doesn't lord them though. It lords itself. Ah. Uh, yeah. I think we just play Baral here. I don't think we bother with the Vizier quite yet. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately, I agree. Yeah, really wish we had found another land there. Temple of Temple of Mystery would have been lit. Temple of Mystery would have been real lit. Did you know how many times I have gone turn two thespian stage scry for Temple of Mystery? Opponent has collected company. They so do. We should be we're gonna be casting hidden strings next turn and target one of their lands to try and get them to use their thing. Maybe. Or they're just gonna cast it now? Sort of wounded. Opponent, this is not gonna go the way you want it to. No, it's not. That's a. Uh, that's upsetting. <laughs> it's really good. It's probably their best possibles. So seven. We're taking eleven here. We're going to five. Taking Thirty. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Land. That doesn't count. Uh, it might. Uh, it it might have to. It might have to count. Cycle our friend. Yeah. And unfortunately, this is now a 3 3. Come on. Sure. I think that we bounce this. We can play Ballot, get recovery. Strings. 3. Um, damn. I, I agree with you. I don't want to agree with you. Yeah. I think we might... Go, go away, please? No, ciphering doesn't actually do anything. They countered it? That's insane. Why would they counter that? That makes no sense. They can just replay it. We can just replay it next turn. Uh, the question is, can we nib it with mana? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, let me think. What are we thinking about? Uh... We does we, we, never mind. It's, it's bad. Does ciphering twice do anything? Oh, uh, it's it's. I think so. Hang on. What if we were to? Um. Now we well now we can actually like play our spells. What if we were to um, Balagad recovery thespians stage? We, then we have green mana floating, that's what I thought about. Yeah, I, I think that's what we do. No, 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 that's bad. We have green mana floating. Oh, and then we anything. can't strings, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> that's alright. Um... Um, I think that strings does actually help us. I think there's an outside shot we're just supposed to strings our stuff. And strings. Um, I their like stuff. Cast hidden strings. Target both of their blockers. Cipher. Cast dig through time. And see what we find. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. This makes sense. Okay, so we found strings poor? Is strings poor good? I think so. We don't think we have a choice between them? Poor is actually even because we have Baral in place. So right. Poor's insane. Got it. So strings poor is probably it? Yeah. Yeah, it. Yep. Attack, yeah, play that. Attack, untap them both. Yep. Yeah, Cypher's broken. Cypher's pretty, pretty nuts. Wait, 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 just cast, just cast the four. It's even, even man. Um, we might be able to get to Niv Mizzet plus poor. Can we do that? So, let me do the math here. First strings puts us to... I believe that we come up short, but you can do the math. So first strings puts us to... Actually, no, I, li I like... Blue, I like blue, blue green, green floating. Green. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to strings. Just pay the, pay the green as the colorless each time with the strings. Well, we, we're not paying colorless. Oh, sure, just free. Yeah. Makes mm. sense. 
forgot it. Brawl is fun and new. Yeah. Uh, thinking. One second. So we have. Goes to five. Down to. We have seven up to ten. So yeah, we can we can niv plus poor here. Um, can we? I think that we come up short of color of the correct color source. Uh, yes, we are one we blue. We come up one blue short. That sucks. Uh, you can still. Wait, how do we how do we come up one blue short? That doesn't make sense. Because we have to because. Because the green isn't getting spent, and we can only spend two green on the pour over the pages, yep. and Niv is triple blue, triple red. Yep. Okay, so we should pour now. Yeah, and spend both green. <sighs> what does that do for us? Discard this. Wait. Oh, we can... Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. We can uh, shadow the sky them, can't we? Yes. Yes, we can. We have to use up our hit strings, though. I agree. It sucks. You're not wrong, but I think we're Dobbs otherwise. Nope. We have to tap our mana, so we use the, white. The, the, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, sure. Or you could float either white or black first, but yeah. one of them had to get floated. So wait, wait, we have six mana. I just want to make sure there's nothing. Oh, sorry. Um, we seven total, so there's nothing actual better that we could have done. We could have peered into the abyss there. If we had For tapped six. our mana right. And kept a blue up. Yeah, that, that was probably better. Yep, that was a lot better. Whoops. Okay, wow. We are learning things. Magic's really hard, guys. <laughs> yeah. And gal, everyone, magic, magic is very difficult. Yeah, damn. That was just like a very easy peer kill. Wow. Yeah, we had, I think that's a peer and just hope we had a, uh, one of our two strings remaining in the top half of our deck. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we only have, we would have two strings. Yeah, two, no, we, we would have zero strings, actually. We, we have one string in the top half, so never mind. It's like less good if you mm, think about it that way. We have to bottom this. Yeah. Still, like if we if we hit that strings, we just win. Uh, or we're in a very good spot. From for no reason. Yeah, that makes this game like a lot easier. Of course, we're still gonna lose. Die. Obviously. Yeah. So they just yeah they would just like kill us here. They're holding up, they're holding up spellfall the entire time. Oh we're yep. Dead. Can't spellfall this. Lofty denial. You can lofty denial it though. You can. All right. So that's a game that we should have won, but we definitely learned to count our mana. We need to get better at counting our mana. And then I think I still think that I like our sideboard plan here. I think that I'm fine to just run this back. What do you think? We actually couldn't have uh, done it. Well, we, we, well, from from the position that we left ourselves in, if we'd thought about it more prior, then we could have floated black instead of white and then done it, but yeah, in the position that we had left ourselves and we couldn't actually do it. So I mean, if I had just counted my mana before I floated the white mana, then we would have been fine. True. This hand is fantastic. This hand is everything I've ever wanted. We have the best possible play in our deck, which is Botanical Sanctum into Sloth into Temple of History. Yep. Yes, everyone, that is the best thing you can possibly do on turn one. Followed closely by turn one Temple of Mystery. No one drop is kind of bonkers. Wait, 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 wait. 
Yes. Uh, we're supposed to play the stage first. Why is that? I don't know. Yeah, I mean... We can theoretically... No, never mind. I guess we don't need Faye as a blocker, but like, theoretically... No, we don't. We could have cast it. Yeah. If we'd want it. Like, I, I agree. I, I just don't think we want to here. I would rather have a second okay. payoff spell in case they can interact with our peer. I would bet that they have Lofty Denial. Hopefully not. I would bet that it does not matter. <laughs> yeah. The thorns are a rough spot because they're like pretty forced into like continuing to uh, uh, like commit to the board. Mm. How are we beating Spell Queller here? Let's think about that. We're just not playing into it. Or we're casting the card Hidden Strings and tapping their lands. Eh. I like casting the card Strategic Planning. Yeah. That's beat Spell Queller. <laughs> Pour over the pages. Yes, please. I like passing. I think I like granting. I don't want it to get Spell Quellered. Reasonable. I think if we pat like... Yeah, have, no, you're, no attacks, you're right. They have no pressure. You're right. We need both. We can just waste their... Coco yet. Yeah, so we like... can just waste their mana. You're oh, right. Yeah. They're gonna... Oh. So they have collected company instead of the hawk? Got it. Um, we're gonna lead on the card Hidden Strings. Actually, no, let's just lead on the, the poor, I guess. Poor's fine. Poor's fine. Poor means that if they want a Lofty Denial, then they can't company this turn. It's playing around Spellcaller versus Lofty Denial at that point, and I was... Yeah, but Lofty Denial's... I'm having Spellcaller. That resolves, friend. <laughs> that is a five mana spell. Oh, you should see the look I just gave the camera. I'm very happy right now. I still think that, like, even if our opponent doesn't throw there, we're still in a fine position, but always nice when they do and make things easier. Well, now the game's just over, right? Yeah. They just can't ever win? Yeah. I've had opponent, I, I think my favorite spell queller, and then having to explain the CMC was Conflagrate one time. Was it, did it, did it involve the card, um, was it a, was it a dredge card? Did it, did it involve, uh, Conflagrate? It, it was Conflagrate. Did you explain that the CMC was 30? Yes, I did. <laughs> and they said, well, you only spent two mana to cast it, and I said, yeah, but the X is doubled. So the CMT of this card is currently 15. I... <laughs> uh, our opponent's at 20. We have 21 cards in our deck. We can, yep, kill, we can kill them with Nim, is it? <laughs> I love how our brains just immediately went to the same place. We, we do have... Wait, wait, wait. We didn't mess up. Wait, we, do, we do have a strings. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're fine. We have strings. <laughs> we're good. Uh, we're good. I think opponent is considering conceding to Nim, is it? Yeah, probably. Hopefully. I think we're just going to run out Baral here. If Baral no, gets I... Mystical Dispute... Well, Baral beats Mystical Dispute. I mean, if they have a Mystical Dispute here, then we don't have to kill them this turn. We can just kill them next turn. We do have a niv in play, and we are at 10. Yeah. Dispute us? Please dispute us. He would have disputed... Uh, they, they would have disputed the uh, port over the pages. Oh, uh, that's true. Yep. Up top. I'm going to click save targets. We're not going to get frisky with it and mow down their board? No, we would die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think we would actually die, but we would. that would be dangerous. comes to mind. Yes, it does. Also remind me not to cast strategic planning. Don't cast strategic planning. Doesn't Thank draw you. Cards. Does not draw cards. Also don't cast, cast dig through time that also doesn't draw cards.
opponent. <laughs> I think that they're figuring out what's happening to them. They're learning that they have been defeated in the arena of ideas. <sighs> Love some good moto salt. That has to be what this is, right? Yep. <laughs> Just the dots. The or are we not giving them the lizard? Oh, we're, of course we're giving them the lizard. <laughs> we could give them the pig or the hat, too. <laughs> the lizard always does the job. Second nib is it? I mean, I'd be down, but it's legendary, unfortunately. Yeah, just to flex on him a little bit. We only have eight cards left in our deck, so we have to figure out if we can actually kill him this way, or we have to like do something else. No, we can. We're good. We had, we had exactly twenty-one cards in our deck when we started this. Yeah. We have how many cards left? Seven. Seven to their six life. Uh, now we, yeah, cool, they're five now, Lit. they're dead. Yep. I appreciate you tapping me their land. Of course. We don't leave anything on the table here. Triker. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of a misstep from our opponent, but still, you know, Still had a pretty strong draw, so I think that, regardless. yeah, I think we would have gotten there. So, off to a good start with 3-0, and and we will see you for round four. All right, welcome back here for round number four. We are on the play. Very fortunate. I'm winning a lot more die rolls this, this go-around, Paul. And... Opponent has revealed Luris. How do I, I think that I want to keep this hand. I like hand. this hand more because they've revealed Luris. I agree. That means that our Boreal Grazer is going to be good for us. And man, do I want to give him the Sloth. Always want to give him the Sloth. We would like Keep. to leave that on the top. Por favor. It maintains one half of our combo. Yep. I would like to play Sloth over planning here. It gives us an extra draw step toward the... Yeah, I'm, I'm in that boat. And we also get to have three lands in play already. Yep. Which is pretty fantastic. The only thing, the only way that this hurts us is if we find a Sylvan Scry in our strategic planning. Block you. Yeah, Wild Slash. Sure, whatever. Kill our guy. That's fine. That's fine. Soaked up. Yes! <laughs> float the mana! What is up, gamers? Oh, you, don't need, you don't need to float mana, do you? Just respond to the trigger. It's more fun that way. <laughs> by by more fun, do you mean there's more there's more room for error? There's more sweat. <sighs> I hate it. All right, they're we gonna. Have, we have turn two double lotus bill in play. They're gonna light up the stage here. This is turn. This is turn three. This sure, is this okay. is very this is very good. We're gonna beat burn from nineteen. We're gonna beat Dorn. <laughs> we're gonna beat Burn from nineteen. I will pour. See, so you have to trust the top of your deck a little bit more, <laughs> and keep more hands with strategic plannings. Yeah, I do. All right, I think. You lead on planning into dig. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think don't don't float, don't float mana. No, I know. I was just I was looking at how much we had. I I like to do that just to count so that oh, I don't sure. mess up my counting. I think. I think Pier is going to be good if we find the strings. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. If this dig through time is anywhere near reasonable, we're going to be good here. And yeah. if it's not, well, we're still at 19. Hidden. There's three copies of the card Hidden Strings. Is that good? No, not one bit. It's probably better if there's only two, honestly. Yeah, it would be, but I think we're still fine. I agree. <laughs> oh boy. We might not even need to 
<laughs> so let's see. Yeah, well, we, we, we still need exactly to peer. 10 mana, 11 mana, so yeah, we still have to peer. Yeah. I was trying to do the math on whether we could just acquisition for... For omniscience, yeah. I did. I was doing that math as well. Yep. Oh, look, we found, the, we found the four strings. That's so lucky. <laughs> Oh, someone just pinged me on Discord. It looks like it was Tegan. Our good buddy Kyle Tegan. I'll message him back after this match is complete. It'll be in short order. It will. We got Faye yet? Yeah, now we can. <laughs> but Connor, we're out of mana now. Whatever no, shall whatever we? Will... Whatever will we do? Bright side, we gain some life. <laughs> oh, yep, I forgot that. Damn, we don't actually beat burn from 19, do we? We have to we have to peer. That's so unlucky. We actually only get to beat burn from 16. <laughs> All right. Was was that hand good? <laughs> no, not one bit. Not at all. All right, same game plan as usual. Now, what uh, we're going to do I liked our game plan so far, so yes. All right, now what we do here, folks, is we bring in two copies of Wilt, a blink of an eye, and we actually bring in one copy of Shatter the Sky because usually in a game against Burn, we're only going to have time to wish for one of them, and so we want to bring one into our main deck just so that we can naturally draw it, give us more outs to a fast creature start from them. The reason I'm choosing Shatter over Anger is because usually when we're casting a Sweeper, we usually do have four mana just because... We only need Lotus Field plus one more untapped mana, but sometimes if we are using Granted to go get Anger from our sideboard, a lot of times we have seven mana and we don't have a way to get an eighth, so in that in those cases I would much rather have Anger on our sideboard to get with Fey than Shatter. So that's the plan, and then we've been cutting a Nibmizzet up here, a Balagate Recovery, and a Dig Through Time. That all makes sense, Paul? Uh, yes, sir. I am. Fully agree with the words that you have said here. Wonderful. Is it bad I wasn't listening? Nah. <laughs> I mean, I, I said those words to you earlier, and you told me that I was right, so. This hand is bad. I agree. I think that we should mulligan this. <laughs> I'm all for keeping, uh. Ugh. See, this is, this is where basic forest is bad, and I'd like to point this out. Yeah, that's that's definitely good to note that basic forest is awful in that spot. Uh, on this hand, slaps though. I think we're keeping these five. It's grazer plus uh, our mana. Yeah, uh, we just have to draw action, right? Yep. We got our mana set up. We've got some speed with the grazer. I could see. I could see us getting rid of a botanical sanctum for. That strategic planning, and I actually think that we might have been supposed to do that. I think it was very close, but I think having the Thespian stage already is like a yeah. pretty big incentive to like not do that. Yeah, I'm just always a big fan of. Aw, poor boy. Just getting our mana online and then letting our action, our spells, our payoffs work themselves out from there. We have a lot of very powerful God. magic gathering cards in our deck. Is it bad that I just want to cast Vizier? That seems. I think that. You should actually uh, play stage cast Vizier. Okay. I think I think I like that. I think that that's worth more than a card next turn. I agree. It's likely that it's worth three life, but three life is still fine. Yeah. Oh. It's worth more than three life. Sick. Love it block <laughs> pretty rude of them to kill our arboreal grazer to be honest I, on, you know what you know what else is pretty rude casting the card sylvan scrying we can do that next turn no we can do this this turn 
sure, but I think I value making a copy more. We still get to make a copy. But not, we don't get to make a copy on block. Yeah, we do. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. I'm, I'm intelligent, I swear. I know I what's going on. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. I've been a tater today, more than you've been a tater. So. It has been a long day. Collective Defiance? Yeah, this is. What modes? This is a card that they're playing to beat Oops All Spells. They are just dealing four to our dude. So, we're taking. We're taking six, six here, but then we get to wipe their board. Yeah. yeah. Crazies. If, if we don't <laughs> draw any deal. action, I'm pretty sure we just blast zone main phase in case they have a Boros charm. Did they show us Lurus? They did. They did show us Lurus, so yes, I agree with you. Um, um, I like pour over the pages and the blast zone you. Yeah. Theoretically, we could... We could pour, but I think I would rather hold off for a turn. I, I think honestly I, agree. I think I would rather have a pour that makes us mana when our play is kind of already locked in that turn. Yeah, I want to... I kind of want to be doing things. Yep. And stuff. How do you feel about stuff? I feel okay about stuff. <laughs> Um, I like discarding Temple of Mystery. Yeah. That was, that was sad. <laughs> Blocker. Value. Be quiet, you. <laughs> wow, this, um, the good news is... Do you know what the good news is? Our action is still great and we're at 9. We've got a lot of good cards left in our deck. Oh man, they bolted our Grazer? Our Grazers have absorbed 6 points of damage, 7 points of damage actually. So 8, 9? Cool. They've, yeah. they've won us the game. Alright. Uh, we have 10 mana. So this uh, can just... I agree with that. How do you feel about going and just getting Nipmits it? I like it. But we... Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it all... I... Yeah, I'm in. We could also just go and get Dig Through Time. I think that Niv is better, though. I think that Niv is better also, because if he casts a spell, we get to shoot the Shino Pyromancer. I think that's hilarious. I agree. <sighs> and being at seven is, like, fine. Oh, that's scary. That's very that's scary. A charm. Yep. And there's definitely a Boros. <gasps> Chain to the rocks? That's fine. We get to wilt it. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Why is Chain um, to the Rocks in your deck? Um, so, set a stop in your upkeep. Why? Oh. You get to ping the Vashina Pyromancer for free? Yep. Is that better than Ambush Vipering it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Fine. Because if we draw any spell this turn, we we're gonna we we're gonna cast the wilt anyway. So getting the one extra point seems reasonable. Yeah, I agree. I think that this makes sense, even if I may not like it. Skill crack. All right. So. All right. Well, they're out of cards, so that's. Cool. They are. Yeah, it's awkward. It is awkward. Your go. Not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Alright, well, you can Got put him. Luris in your hand. Then if you draw a white source, I'm dead. So, how do you feel about blinking our nib it to draw two cards? I dislike it. Why? Uh, Dude, we, 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 need to, we need to kill them. Sure, yeah, you're... Uh, I'm I'm here for it, I guess. Yeah, otherwise we're just like trusting the top of our deck. I and believe in the heart of the cards, Yugi boy. I don't. Should've. <laughs> yeah, for real. Should've. <laughs> we're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. 
should have. Look at this. I mean, we still just like. Oh yeah, they're dead. Yeah, like if the cards are good, then we just crush them. I like ciphering. Same. Is it wait? Is it combat damage or is it? It is combat damage. Never mind. I don't like ciphering anymore. Too bad. I mean, it's worse because we have dig, but sure. I mean. We yeah, have I'm aware. Yeah. It's it's at the point where it doesn't actually matter. Ah, uh, I see that we've won the game by casting the card. <laughs> Why oh my do God. you tap the extra Lotus Field? Why do you hate yourself? I like tapping and untapping Lotus Fields. What of it? We already have we already have two tapped. All right. <laughs> well, that's a that's a not great matchup, but we were able to steal <laughs> one with Nib Mizzet. Kind of surprised our opponent couldn't kill us until turn eight, but we cast a lot of creatures that game. All right, let's uh, we'll see you for round five. We'll see if we can get the trophy. <laughs> All right, hey everybody, we are here for round number five, going for the trophy here, and very skillfully, we've won yet another die roll. Paul, any yeah, any yeah. advice for any advice for that? Um, yeah. Uh, we, Win, winning both, die rolls both, is good. Both players played hard. Um, yeah, it was a heck of a game, heck of a competitor. <laughs> That's a blocker against our opponent's Luris strategy. <laughs> Was was generic sports the correct? Uh, oh, what is going on, opponent? <laughs> this can't be very good. You've lost Ballista. <laughs> to be fair, we've lost uh, oh. Underworld Breach. So no, dude, this isn't this isn't Heliod. They're playing white oh, black they're auras. The auras. Yeah, they're auras. Oh man, this Sylvan crying is gonna be unreal. Right? <laughs> they're Dobbs. <laughs> they are actual Dobbs. <laughs> is it bad that I want to slow roll this crying? Uh yeah, I think we should just fire it off. Fine. That way we can do it on turn four if we want to. Which Block. we which we might want to. It's a two, I two, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a two two. I don't believe you have the mutagenic growth friend. Excuse me. That card is not pioneer legal. Excuse me, sir. Let me dream. Why do you hate dreams? It's not a dream, it would just create a format that was terrible involving a lot of the, like, mono-red Loris deck. <laughs> Alright, I would like to draw Hidden Strings. That one's also very good. It is. Um, Which one are we going to play, opponent? We do not block. I agree, they could have the... Karamatra's Blessing. Two indestructible. Yep. They do not have it, because they played a SRAM. Yep, I think we just copy here. Um, I think that we're supposed to pop, but... Actually, no, I, I, I can get behind copying. Yeah, behind copying. there's just, like, no way that we die. If this were a white land, we could die, but it's not. If they, if they, if they hit their third land drop there, I think there's ways that we die, but they did not. So, all that glitters doesn't kill us. Yeah. I'm so smart. And I mean, either way, like, we have this Luris, so... Or, sorry, we have this Baral. I, my brain is... I am blocking. My brain is not vigilance. working tonight. Alright, opponent, I would like to kill you. Might as well copy now. Yep. Don't want to accidentally click through. Yep. Um, a new heuristic that is good to know, that when we have Baral and Balagad Recovery, Balagad Recovery for poor is just mana neutral, so it's basically a free copy of Ancestral Recall. Oh man, <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, can I find the strings? Uh. Not quite yet. Mm, let's see. We got seven, eight mana. I think uh, we dig. We can take dig through time, and then we can just balaged for poor, poor, then cast dig. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too. Well, cool. Opponent's dead. Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, opponent's very. Well. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I see that you're here to meme. Well, we, we have Cypher, Paul. It would be... We don't leave points on the table here. It'd be rude to not Cypher. <laughs> yes, it would. Baral, Baral really wants to hold this Hidden Strings. I, I think that he's earned it, don't you? Yeah, I believe you. We do... Oh, we have 31 cards? Cool, I guess we can kill them. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to untap their lands just for fun? No. <laughs> You're no fun. That sounds, that sounds like we could die. It gives the opponent outs. Oh, I didn't realize their life total was so high. Yeah, I guess they've just been gaining a bunch of life, haven't they? Whoops. Yeah. I mean, we can still kill them. We have, 20, we have 25 cards left in our deck. Yeah. I was on top of it. I did that math already for you. Appreciate you. A Balagate recovery, Balagate recovery. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're probably just supposed to get Faye, but I'm having too much fun to stop. I, I believe you. <laughs> Now Another do you want? One. Now do you want to tap their lands? Untap their lands? Still no. Aww. Like it still gives them outs. Aw, Paul. Let Let's just get our trophy in a good matchup. Like, don't don't mess with fate, man. You're right. I should not mess with fate. I thought you were going to cast another Barol, and I was going to be upset. <laughs> That's just casting spells to cast spells at that point. <laughs> Quick, Faye. <laughs> Faye for something nonsensical. I got you. <laughs> Are we gonna bolt? Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Oh. What? I was gonna bolt them with the. Nah. Oh, Tormash doesn't draw a card though. We've got to play around Luris. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have anyone say that I'm bad at combat. There's a trigger on this thing. Trigger. Um, I think this is the Void Snare matchup. You think we bring in Void Snare? Yeah, I guess. I don't think that Niv is very good. I agree. I think we can shave a Balagat. I think we can shave a Grazer and probably a Dig Through Time. I don't like shaving Grazer. You don't like shaving Grazer? I guess it's like kind of the best card in the matchup. Yeah. So what do you want to shave? I kind of want to shave Mastermind's Acquisition. I would rather shave Fae of Wishes, just in case they have Necromentra. Okay. But, yeah, I, I think that's fine. I don't want to shave Fae because Fae's a good blocker. Yeah, like, just in case they have Necromentra, I'm not really willing to cut the Mastermind's Acquisition. That's fair. We can, we can go down to three Grazers, dude. All right. Or we could, or we could shave a vizier. I, I would also be fine shaving a vizier. Should we do that? Mm. I guess we can shave, shave a vizier. I know it hurts. It hurts a lot, man. It hurts a lot. All right, Paul. As you do, I'm gold fishing. I'm looking at a hand. Of Temple of Mystery Botanical Sanctum Yavamaya Coast. Fay of Wishes pour over the pages. S two Sylvan Scryings. Do you keep or do you mulligan? I keep. Wonderful. Me too. This hand, I think that we mulligan. I think we keep it. Seriously? We have I... our best card in double Scryland? I don't trust Scrylands that much, dude. But I'm willing to give it a shot. Do you, do you, you, you genuinely believe that we keep this? I would I would keep this I would keep this hand in this matchup, yes. Okay. I think that Grazer is extremely important. I agree. And 
we, uh, with two Scrylands, especially, like, we have so many looks. Found it. I hate you. <laughs> 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 Never punished. Have you met me? <laughs> and now our hand is great. Bye-bye, hidden strings. Yeah, now we just get to dig through time on, like, turn four. Uh, they just took a dig. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have another one. Did they keep a one-lander? Yeah. Nah. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, now we just get to dig on turn four, dude. I aggressively keep grazer hands. Yeah, you really do. Have I been wrong? Oh, I'm blocking. 100%. No. Oh, yep. We do block. Normally Close I would dig. Normally I would not block in this scenario, but it does have dig. We do have dig. You're right. Now we can cast dig through time. And get a bounce spell. Blink of an eye is... Blast zone or a Sylvan scrying or like anything. Yeah. Blink of an eye is just so busted in this matchup. So is Wilt. Wilt is just terminate. Yeah. Feels great. Wilt is not actually beatable from this position. Like, yeah. Mm -mm. Take a million? That's not lethal. You are correct. It is not. And you didn't want to block. I guess we could have blocked next turn, but like we can't guarantee that. Yeah. I think we take... Oh, this is awkward. It is. I think we take Acquisition... Actually, Acquisition's like not even that good because we boarded in Void Snare. Well, um, Acquisition can just search our... Yeah, so we just take Acquisition here, I think, and Thespian Stage. What? I don't... I don't think I agree with that. What do you want to take? I like Strategic Planning a lot. Why? It gives us three more looks at Terminate to win the game. I mean, if we want to just if we want to terminate to win the game, we can just masterminds acquisition and hidden strings, and that's just it. Do we need do we need both hidden strings? No, we just take masterminds acquisition, take thespian stage, copy, untap both six mana, go get wilt or or blink of an eye or void snare. And we just... have a wilt. We have a wilt on our board. No, but masterminds acquisition also gets cards oh, from sure, our main sure, deck. Sure. Tutors, tutors our deck. Yeah, I'm down for this plan. It doesn't matter the order we're shuffling. True. I think that we're supposed to get a Void Snare with this. I don't think so at all. Wait, wait, oh, what's the text on Eidolon? Whenever an enchanted they, creature they dies, they, they would draw two if we killed this, so we're just going to bounce it instead. Got it, don't hate it. Yep. I don't think that we get Blink of an Eye just because I would rather have that one in our deck. So long, opponent. Come so far and fought so hard. <laughs> it didn't even matter. <laughs> Did not matter. We're just gonna go ahead and take Peer into the abyss. Ugin here. I don't think Ugin's remotely beatable without thought seize. No, it's not. You are correct. I wanted to get Peer into the abyss, but this is much more fun. That one. Nice thought seize. Hope you have it. Now now Ugin's not beatable. Nope, it is not. We figured it out. We found the line. It involves minus oneing our Ugin. Opponent finally found their second land drop on turn six. Well done, opponent. Pretty unfortunate. God, think of how Dobbs we would be if they had just mulliganed. All right, we did it. <laughs> we were able to get the trophy. Paul, well done today. This was this was a lot of fun. Um, we will see you fine folks for the breakdown. All right, so we were able to get the 5-0 there. Um, we beat 
some pretty good matchups. We also beat some some of our worst matchups in Spirits and Burn. But overall, this deck felt really strong, and I gotta say, I was really impressed by Baral. I think that going up to three copies is where we're gonna stay for right now. That card is just seems very, very good. Seems like it just makes us go a lot faster and be more consistent in some tough spots. So, Paul, what are your takeaways from the league we just played? Um, I hadn't actually played with Baral yet, and I was very impressed with um, how well it bridged a lot of the gaps that Underworld Breach had left behind. Yeah, definitely. I gotta also say that I'm, I'm always kind of medium on Balagan Recovery, but the more I play with it, the more happy I am. Yeah, having a land that's also a uh, Reclaimer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still really liking the plan of just Fae for Omniscience and then Approach to the Second Sun. I can't really say that I've missed Jace. Approach to the Second Sun is honestly, like, can't be interacted with as easily, and it's honestly just a lot less clicks. So I've been very happy with that. Some changes that I would make are, I didn't love the forest. I wanted to try it out, but there were a couple spots where we had a keepable hand if the forest was a Yavamaya coast, but we just needed to cast a strategic planning on turn two, but because we couldn't, we just had to mulligan. And so I haven't been in love with that. And then going forward, oh, go sorry. for it. How, how, much, how much Field of Ruin exists in the format currently? I haven't seen much. Honestly, not very much. I think that there's like Esper Control decks that might play one or two, but it's also a very and easy card to play around. So. Assassin's Trophy? The Saltide decks aren't even really playing that, so I don't know okay, if there's so a huge reason. I, I don't think there's a really strong case to have Forest over Yavimaya Coast. I don't think the one point of damage matters, and planning is extremely important to be able to cast. I think that I agree. So, going forward, I think it's going to be a day-to-day, -day, a week-to-week -week basis on whether you do want Nib mizzet in the main deck. Before Paul and I played this league, I had been seeing a lot of counterspell decks in the queues, and so I did want Nib Mizzet in my main. But as we approach the showcase qualifier this weekend, I may want to reevaluate that and think about what I think the meta is going to be like. I think that the sideboard, I think that we've got that in a really good place. I didn't love the Void Snare, to be honest. I think it's fine if we just make this the more powerful blink of an eye or. Paul loves to split card names, so we'll probably make it into the Royal. You know, it's just functionally identical, but I'm feeling really good about the sideboard right now. I think that, you know, we're going to tweak the main deck where we to where we think the meta's going to be, probably get rid of the forest, and might see if we can go back up to four Viziers, but we'll see. Paul, any last thoughts? Um, only thought is how relevant Alpine Moon is currently. It felt, like an, it felt like an empty slot, but it could have just been the matchups we played against. Yeah, absolutely. So the Alpine Moon is really only there for the mirror, and I know that there's... I can the say with... to be beatable without Alpine Moon. I don't know if that's still the case, because like, the decks aren't as fast. Yeah, so and it's... Maybe, maybe the Moon's more important. So it makes it just kind of a free win, and I know for a fact, or... I'm like 90% certain that two of the other players in this 25 person event will be playing Lotus Field. All right. I'm and down so, moon if that, yeah. If, that, if, that, if those are the percentages. Yeah, I definitely know that a good a good chunk of the tournament is going to be on the mirror. So definitely happy to have Alpine Moon. And then, yeah, um, if y'all have any thoughts about how you would build the deck from this point, please let us know in the comments. Let us know how you liked Paul. If if you're uh, if you enjoyed him and learned something from listening to him, like I always do, you know, let us know and we'll bring him back as often as we can. Paul, thanks so much for coming on. I really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, always. It was a lot of fun. All right. Until next time, everybody, make sure you check out RIW Hobbies and Games. Check out the other videos on the channel and keep an eye out because I'll be recording the Pioneer Mox Showcase Qualifier this coming Sunday. Take care.